Hey everyone, Sunday, and finally time for a new episode of Record Collecting with a Quill. It's been a couple of weeks, uh, decided to take a little bit of a uh, Christmas break, so I hope you're ready for a new episode. We're going to focus on this one today, our brand new upcoming vinyl release of our latest album, Live New, Borrowed and Blue. Uh, but before we start, you know the drill, make sure you subscribe, hit that little notice bell and share with your friends. Well. Uh, this album, our latest one, a sort of a compilation, uh, if you follow us, you know it was released uh, on CD uh, about a year ago. Uh, so the, ba the background story was that we were supposed to tour Europe in January 2022, and our label thought it would be a good idea to have uh, release something uh, um, to coincide with the tour. Uh, but as you all know, the shit hit the fan uh, again in January, so the tour was cancelled, uh, but the CD version was released. Now, if you're into collecting vinyl, you know the, the sort of the vinyl community has been having a lot of problems over the uh, last couple of years uh, due to a, a bunch of, of uh, different factors. So the vinyl release was delayed for a year. Uh, crazy really when you think about it. It also seems it's it's crazy that it is a year since it was released uh, but As I said they wanted our label wanted something uh, to sort of uh, Market to tour with and this one uh, We didn't have a, enough songs and time to write a new album So but we had a couple of different tracks. We had a couple of couple of leftover tracks from from the Earthrise sessions, three of them to be specific. We had a couple of live tracks from the Sweden Rock show. Uh, unfortunately, we recorded the whole show, but since we were playing the same time as Candlemas, uh, when we listened back to the recordings, there were a lot of interference from the other stage, which is a problem recording in a festival setting. Uh, but two tracks uh, was okay, so we decided to mix them, and we also had a couple of different uh, cover tunes we recorded way back and that's the whole sort of backstory to the title there's a couple of live tracks there's a couple of new tracks there's a couple of borrowed tracks and there's also blue track uh, one of the the new track burning trees of blues track so that refers to uh, that's what the blue in the title refers to which sort of is borrowed from an old Slade album uh, I know it's uh, sort of a saying uh, to coincide with, with uh, getting married, but we borrowed it from Slade and nowhere else. Um, and as I said, finally, we got this version, uh, which I'm really pleased of. It's, it looks quite good, actually, uh, considering it was done sort of in rather quickly. Uh, the, the artwork, as you can see, is a lot of sort of a, a collage of pictures. Uh, me and Magnus met up in the rehearsal room with a bunch of pictures and did this in sort of like 30 minutes or so. I actually have the the original thing we did here. It looks like this. So here you have it in color. Uh, rather interesting. Sometimes you can work on, on artwork for an album for, for weeks or even months. But this one was done so quickly. Uh, and then our label helped us adding the, the logo and stuff but well enough of the talking let's have a look inside as i said i haven't opened it so it's gonna be the first time for me as well got myself a really good knife I'll be careful with it supposed to be some cool stuff here here we go as i said front and also back, you have the track listing. It's nine tracks. Ah, can't even remember. Been such a long time. Yeah, here we go. And we have the all the credits. Here you have the actually. You can see it's the same collage in color. Actually, you have all the sort of information about everything. And on the back side. You have a rather len lengthy sort of backstory to the whole album and all the songs. Looks quite nice, actually. Really pleased with this one. 
yeah. Now for the vinyl. Ooh. That looks nice, doesn't it? Huh? There you go, you can see the label as well. Using the same collage and also a black and yellow splatter vinyl. There you have the back side as well. To sort of match up with the artwork. I actually thought this through even though it was done rather quickly. Sort of matching with this one. Doesn't it look good? Yeah. That was rather nice. Pleased. What can be said about the tracks then? Well, as I said, there's three three leftover tracks from the Earthrise, ses Earthrise sessions. There's an extended version of Keep On Moving. Uh, extended in that it has a rather lengthy breakdown in the middle, which we recorded it. It was written that way. But when we decided to have Keep On Moving uh, as the... F no, it isn't the first song on the album, is it? No. But we wanted it to sort of stay uh, sort of a fast as a fast paced song so i think it was christian who came up with the idea to sort of uh edit the middle section out uh even though we mixed it as that and we thought it would be a cool idea to to uh, sort of uh, have it on this album because we weren't everyone didn't really agree on on editing that part out but I think the song speaks for itself, uh, but it's cool to have that version released as well. You have another track called Children of the Sun, which was released as a, a lyric video as well a year ago, which was sort of scrapped uh, at the last time, uh, was as uh, some of the last songs from the album. Uh, rather good one. I think we just didn't have enough time to, to uh, add it to the Earthrise album. And also sort of a... Uh, stripped down blues track called Burning Trees, just Christian and Magnus uh, playing a little bit of blues, uh, which didn't really fit the album, but w was cool uh, nonetheless, and it's fit perfectly here. And as I said, you have a couple of live tracks from Sweden Rock, I already mentioned, and you have Keep, on, uh, Keep It Together and also Hole In My Head from the Sweden Rock Festival in 2019. And then you also have four uh, cover tracks recorded well, over 20 years ago, uh, at the end of the 90s, we, we recorded a couple of tracks for different tribute albums. It was a big, th big thing around that time. So we recorded uh, Were Eagles There for a tribute album to Iron Maiden called Slave to Power, uh, where we shared the album with Sebastian Bach from Skid Row and others. It was an American compilation. Uh, we did SOS uh, by Aerosmith for a tribute album called Right in the Nuts. We did, uh, what else, Frozen Over by uh, one of my favorite bands, uh, Captain Beyond, uh, for a Swedish compilation album uh, done by Record Heaven at the time, and also a track by a Swedish band called um, November, a track called Mount Everest, I mentioned them before, uh, for uh, Power from the North, it was a lot of Sw Swedish, like new Swedish bands, uh, uh, doing covers of old Swedish, uh, old older Swedish metal bands or hard rock bands. Ingrid Malms uh, was cover of Ingrid Malmsteen by, I can't remember. Yeah, was in Flames was on the album as well. Us and others. Uh, so there's a little bit of of everything on this one. And if I have, haven't said it, it's released January January twentieth. Uh, so you have a couple of weeks. To pre-order it now uh, to secure your copy. As I said, this is a limited edition uh, on black and yellow splatter vinyl. So make sure you get your copy before it's too late. I mean, just look at this. So nice. Will fit your uh, turntable just perfectly. And then also you have, as I said, a lot of stuff to to sort of read up our sort of take on the album a lot of stuff and a lot of really this you i just love sitting around just looking at small details and photos and stuff so here's your chance it's out as i said in a couple of weeks uh you can order it from wherever you order vinyl albums it's out on metalville is the our label uh, in germany so make sure you pick it up 
Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Unboxing live new Borrowed and Blue by The Quill, our latest album. Uh, go out and buy it. And uh, Well, now I'm back on the horse again. I'll see you again next week, uh, next Sunday with a new episode. Uh, make sure you follow us on social media. It's The Quill Sweden. The Quill Sweden, as I said, we're uh, gearing up for recording a new album. We're starting in... Uh, late February so we're writing songs as like crazy and sort of putting everything together right now uh, which is really exciting so lots of more lots more news coming uh, shortly well that's it for now uh, see you all again next week cheers bye